Republicans are gloating right now. They escaped intact after last week's election, but Democrats did make some progress. We're talking about the long game here. With us right now, a Republican and a Democrat to talk about the future of Texas politics. Deborah Peoples, the chairwoman of the Democrats in Tarrant County, and Vinnie Mancillo, a principal at Glasshouse Strategies here in Dallas, an ad firm that makes commercials for Republican candidates. It's great to see you guys again. We appreciate you being here. Well, it's great to see you and Vinny. Exactly. <laughs> Deborah, let, let me start with you. You guys have had, you guys as Democrats have had a few days to, to digest the results. Why didn't Democrats flip the Texas House, win majority control there, flip the state of Texas, or even defeat John Cornyn like Democrats said they were going to do for months? So, Jason, I think we know, and you're right, we've had a few days to digest this. And so I believe that we didn't do a good job of judging the mood of the people. And uh, unfortunately, people listen to polls. I've been saying all along, you don't listen to polls. You have to get out and knock on doors and talk to people. And so I think uh, Democrats got a little complacent uh, looking at the polls, and uh, we now know we have a a lot more work to do. Uh, we also lost it in the rural areas. We yeah. did a great yeah. job in the big cities. Uh, look, even look at uh, Tarrant County. I mean, uh, Biden is going to carry Tarrant County. We didn't do a good job with the down ballot. And so uh, I think, you know, COVID kind of altered some of our plans to get out and knock on doors. But what got us the wins or is getting us the wins in many places is direct contact with the voters. And we know no, we've got to do a well, better look, job. Well, of that. Let me ask Vinny about that. Vinny, I mean, I mean, clearly, Deborah's laying out things they should have done differently. The virus is something no one could could predict. But at the end of the day, Democrats registered a heck of a lot of people. Democrats uh, brought in a lot of money to the state, and and my guess is that's likely going to mean stronger candidates in the future to run against Republicans. Well, you know, that's the exact problem. I, I think that you know this time Texas Democrats. You know, they've kind of blown their best chance in a generation. They had $20 million come in for redistricting, money that's not coming back in 2022. And I think the slate of candidates they put up was too far left of the voters. And, and, that's, and that's a real problem. And, and Elizabeth Beck is probably a great candidate in Oregon, but she's no amount of money is going to get her over the line in Tarrant County. Just a bad fit. Yeah. And, and Go see, ahead, Deborah. Vinny, I, I disagree with that. I think what Democrats did is we're way too nice, and you do messaging. I think we let Republicans control this message, this whole thing about defund the police, and we're way too liberal. We didn't clap back. As my 20-year-old something says, you know, you clap back when people say stuff. I think we assumed that people were uh, would understand these issues and understand that defund the police didn't mean take away uh, all the police. And I just think we missed an opportunity that we let Republicans get away but, with that but message. Deb Deborah, here, here's the thing, though. Democrats never clap back. At Republicans, you're, you're Repu right. Republicans have I'm messaging now. And, and Jason, that's it. And go, so, Vinny, I'm just going to tell you: here in Tarrant County, I'm not known for holding my tongue. I, I you know are not. many times I'm battling the whole state party because people are saying, "No, you can't do this." And that my thing is, we have to clap back because I will tell you, the Republican ads were fierce and they were coming at us well, every day, let, and they had a consistent message. Let's talk about Vinny. Go ahead. I mean, how do you? Respond to that. Clearly, Republicans are better well, at messaging. I, I, Deborah must have been watching another election than I was. I mean, we <laughs> saw millions of dollars uh, of races, you know, from Lorenzo Sanchez going negative on, on a race. Mil more money than we've ever seen running negative ads from the Democrat side. So there was more than clapping back. It was time in the woodshed. So this were there was plenty of stuff from their side. Vinny, looking forward, I want to ask both of you guys this question, but lo looking forward, Vinny, what changes next cycle, 2022 and 2024, based on what we just saw? What changes? Yep. Um, it, the math. Uh, you know, I think, I think there's a lot of people looking at flawed math. Uh, the Beto math is gone. Um, I think uh, MJ Hagar is, is totally out of the picture now. I think her career is over. Right. Uh, I think, you, you know, how we approach everything in a Trump-less world 
is going to change. So, you know, in a lot of ways, we're both parties are at ground zero from a math point of view. It's going to be a big difference. And Deborah, same question for you. 60 seconds left here. What changes moving forward here in the next two cycles? So I think I think Vinny is absolutely right. It is not going to be a Trumpless world. And you know, so much of what we did or the campaign for 2020 was based on Trump. We've now got to go back and figure out how do we get back to grassroots politics. I mean, I think you know we were fighting at the top, and I think you'll see uh, uh, Vice President Biden's numbers are going to continue to grow in North Te in uh, Tarrant County. Uh, Vice President Biden's going to win Tarrant County. What we got to do is figure out. How do we get down to the bottom? How yeah. do we elect yeah. an Elizabeth Beck? How do we elect Democrats down at the bottom? And that's getting different messaging and getting out there. Vinny, final yeah. word, because she she uh, she got the better of you, even though they don't clap back. She got the better of you in this interview, man. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> no, I, I, and I think the thing we've got to remember is it always comes down to candidates. Yeah. You've got to have quality candidates that people can vote for. It all starts there. All right. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, Deborah Peoples and Vinnie Mancello, good to see you guys again. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys.